Bend over just like that. Made you squeal like a pig. I rolled my eyes as Dad and Roger bragged about their conquests. When they saw it, they both laughed. It's gonna be fine, baby brother, Roger said, turning to me. A moment later, I felt Dad's heavy hand on my shoulder. You're ready for the big day, Mark? I sighed. Isn't your first time supposed to be special? Why not Laura from down the street? It's about love, isn't it? They both burst out laughing again. There's a time and place for love, son. But the first time's gonna be messy and chaotic. Best to get it over with and... Why do I have to do it in front of you and Roger? Family tradition, son. I was there when Roger had his first. And Grandpa was with me when I had mine. Yeah, but it's stupid. Dad shrugged and handed me a beer. As I took it, Roger left the room. Roger found just the one for you. With that, Roger led a chubby prostitute into the room. The air filled with the smell of cheap perfume and menthol cigarettes. Her face was caked with makeup and she'd pushed herself into a dress at least two sizes too small for her. Dad the birthday boy? She asked, giving a smile that was meant to be seductive. It almost made me gag. Yeah, Candy, that's him. Mark turned 18 just today. Roger answered. The woman stepped forward, closing the space between me and her in mere moments. Well, I'll make sure it's gonna be a very special day, she said, giving me a wink. Roger had gotten himself a beer and sat down next to Dad. I stood there, helplessly staring from Dad to Roger and then back to Candy. She'd already started to undress. She tried to be seductive, but all I could do was stare at her white, puffy flesh and those huge, sagging tits. For a moment I watched the grotesque spectacle, watched as she laid down and spread her legs wide for me. With sweaty hands I took off my shirt and unbuttoned my pants. I moved forward, crawling closer to the mat which she laid on. Then I pushed myself on top of her. Our eyes met and at that moment a rush came over me. This was it. My first time. My hand closed around my instrument of choice. The one I'd concealed for so long. I thrust it into her with all the force I could muster and it vanished between her legs. Candy screamed as the cold, hard metal of the knife entered her, and I, still on top of her, smiled. Oh, it was messy, and it was chaotic. It was my first time, but Dad and Roger were there to help me take care of things. After all, it's family tradition that they help you with your very first kill.